To be a pioneer, you not only have to have great ideas and get there first, but you also have to build the bridges to bring everyone else with you. I'm Kay Tai. I'm the Wiley Vale Professor of Neuroscience at the Salk Institute. The overarching big question that I'm trying to address is how the brain gives rise to the mind. I was always fascinated by how it is that we have these subjective experiences that are unique. How can we play a song at a party and one person loves it and another person hates it? What gives rise to preferences and how we interpret things in the world as good or bad? The brain is really like a tangled mess of wires. Specifically, we are interested in the neural circuit mechanisms underlying emotional processing and social behavior. What we're trying to do is dissect the circuit component by component, piece by piece, to understand what each part of the circuit does and understand how information is dynamically moving through this rich labyrinth. Imagine a future where every single person with a mental health disorder could find a therapeutic intervention that was completely effective and completely free of side effects. To make a mental health revolution, we need to rethink treatment development by first understanding how the brain works and then developing a strategy that is based on our biological understanding. Why is it that so many people are exposed to alcohol? Only some people develop an alcohol use disorder. We found that there's a specific circuit going from the cortex to the brainstem that indicates on the very first exposure to alcohol whether an individual will become a compulsive drinker later. The COVID-19 pandemic affected our research program significantly. It became obvious that we needed to study chronic social isolation. Social isolation or even just perceived loneliness can have many negative health consequences. We discovered that dopamine neurons in the dorsal rave nucleus represent the experience of social isolation. So this provides an entry point for us to be able to dissect the circuit. I think there have been a lot of improvements, but there's much more work that needs to be done for there to be gender parity in science. I was honored to be among the extraordinary list of finalists. I don't have any words how great this feeling is just to be recognized for doing the work that we are so passionate about. We've established rigorous modern neuroscience investigation at the highest level, and this is something that I find extremely gratifying.